Well, we know that Bill Priestap, who was in charge of the counterintelligence division, said they did consider the possibility that Steele was a part of a Russian disinformation campaign, but then thanks to the diligence of uh, uh, Senator Grassley and Senator Johnson and the Director of National Intelligence, we now have a copy of the less redacted footnote 350 to the Inspector General report, which points out, if you can see it, that not only did uh, Steele have regular interaction with Russian oligarchs, but that the, there was a potential information, potential for Russian disinformation influencing Steele's election reporting. And it did not have high confidence that the subsources for Steele's reporting and assessed that the reference subset was part of a Russian disinformation campaign to denigrate U.S. foreign relations. So, Mr. Rosenstein, it strikes me that Mr. Putin must be extraordinarily pleased with how this all played itself out. Not only was Hillary Clinton and her campaign disparaged, not only was President Trump and his campaign disparaged and put through what can only be described as hell for the last three and a half years of an investigation when, in fact, the source of some of the information that was used not only to secure a FISA warrant, but to conduct a counterintelligence investigation may in fact have been part of a Russian disinformation campaign. Does that concern you? It concerns me very much, Senator, and I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. As you know, I was in the job for only two years. I've been gone now for about 13 months, so I don't have access to any information that's been generated through the Durham investigation. I do not know. Uh, what Attorney General Barr has discovered with regard to that. But I think it's important, Senators, for us to keep in mind that uh, it, it, is, it is established, I believe, that uh, Russia's efforts included disparaging Hillary Clinton, as you said. Um, that, that doesn't mean Russia is on the other candidate's side. Russia is on Russia's side. And so I think we should be just as concerned if there's evidence that they were disparaging or attacking or trying to undermine President Trump, as we were, about their activities with regard to Secretary Clinton. So I, 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 do, I don't I, know the answer to it, but I am concerned about it. I agree with you. The, po the point I was trying to make is the Crossfire Hurricane investigation based almost entirely on the allegations of Christopher Steele and the sources he provided, which may have in fact been part of a Russian disinformation campaign, which has successfully divided the country and created a lot of chaos in, in, uh, uh, in the ensuing three and a half years. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Senator Chairman, Durbin. if I could just follow up on that. Senator, whether it's Russian disinformation or, or other disinformation, uh, I think the FBI needs to figure out yeah. where did it come from, why was it submitted, uh, and were any crimes committed. I think that's an appropriate area of investigation. I just don't know what the evidence reflects. Thank you. Senator Durbin. Uh, 